Alright, what up guys? I'm um, here at work again. I'm um, gonna remove some broken uh, head studs for the exhaust manifold here at work. Um, you get plenty of these all the time. And as you can see, there's one right there. And the other one at the end right here. There's two. So I'm just gonna show you real quick uh, the process of me removing them. I've done this a uh, few times. So you're going to need a welder, a MIG welder specifically, you're going to need uh, two of these nuts, these are 3 8 nuts, so then you put them on here, Let's see, and then you weld it on there, so the, the head's aluminum and then the studs are metal, so when you MIG weld it, uh, in theory they won't um, stick to the head so you got a metal head so I wouldn't suggest doing it uh, if you have unless you have a real precise hand of welding the stud but I still I would just extract it at that time because uh, I wouldn't risk it but this is an aluminum head and it should be fine I've done it plenty of times on these and so first step I'm gonna try to just clean this off real quick and then after that, I would uh, shoot a little bead on here, like uh, just right on top of the nut, here, this is on the broken stud. Uh, weld it real quick, just so you could have some surface. To, once you put this, this broken nut, then it'll bind to it. So let me get to that part and I'll show you what I mean. So here I'm going to use this uh, uh, Millermatic 212, this is what they have at work, but it works just fine. I have it on the auto set here, and then I have it on 16 gauge, and this on a 210, it's plugged into a 210, so and I already set that guy up, and like I showed you, I'm going to get this 3.8 nuts. So this inner opening fits like just perfect with the broken part and also you're gonna need these little you guys needle pliers but these are like vice grip pliers and it's gonna be something like that you see how it's just perfect the nut so but before you even weld this nut you gotta weld a little bit on this so put on, put a uh, weld a little bit on the broken stud area. I cleaned it a little bit. I uh, just removed all the dirt, but it's clean. And build it up on the broken stud. After you build it up, then you weld the stud. So that way it has something to adhere to. Uh, you might sometimes get it on the first try when you're welding the nut, but for the most part, it should work because if you don't do that, I've tried it where you just kind of try to weld the nut straight onto the broken thing. It won't, it won't, it won't stick. It'll keep breaking off. So sometimes you'll get it on the first, take you a couple tries, but let me show you how I weld a little piece on there. And then you weld the nut on there. Okay, let me show you. Alright, look at it. So I welded a little piece on here. This is what I was talking about. Giving it a little build up. So that is right on the, the broken stud. Also over here. One of the broken stud. It's actually not welded on the actual head. It's just on the stud. It looks like it's kind of sketch, but it works. So. probably like oh shit you probably welded it onto the stud it won't it won't stick to the aluminum i mean you weld it onto the head but it's not stuck to the aluminum so after you do now that grab your needle nose let me unzoom this your needle nose and position it on here and you see how it sits 
right in there. Let me turn the light. Sometimes you can just even leave it there. Let's see here. Sometimes you gotta do some tricky stuff because it won't work. Okay, now you get the nut with a needle nose. There you go. You can see the little piece in there. And zoom it in. And you can see, you see all that. Uh, just, there's a, you give it that little lay, that little lip. That's why I weld it. So once you fill this, you try not to get the other metal or else you can't get the stud to weld it in there. So let me weld this up and see if that'll work. Here it is. Uh, it's all welded up. Uh, let me get it closer. There it is. I weld the inner part to the broken stud. Now I got to pull it out. See how it works. And hopefully it works. Sometimes it takes a couple few, few tries, but let's see if this one tried in the first try. So here it is. Let me show you. It was kind of loud earlier, so I'm just going to redo this video. And there it is. Uh, welded it on to the broken stud, the broken nut. Let me zoom it in. There you go. Weld it up a little bit happened on that side. But as you can see, it's coming out. back there it's coming out already so i just need to crank it out i've been cranking it out a little bit but i'll show you at the end once it's all out and how it didn't like mess up the head or anything you know what i mean keep uh cranking at it so here's the end result see there you can see how i grabbed it right there see there you go The whole stud, the broken stud. There you go. It's all out. Oh yeah, let me show you the surface on this. Got just gotta kind of clean it up, but let me clean it up. That way you can actually see that it didn't mess it up here. This is just the residue from the weld. But clean it up here. That way you can see that the threads are all fine. damage so yeah if you guys don't need to have this problem just weld it weld the nut to the broken stud and you're done instead of trying to um trying to like tap it and then extract it this is much quicker but like i said you could only do it with a aluminum head if it's a metal head then i think you you do have to extract it i would just extract extract it at that point but this is aluminum head at all it won't it'll, it'll be fine so now i got to do the next one uh give it a try if you guys need to do this or let me know if you guys need to move remove some stuff right here it's pretty easy because we have the whole wheel well but yeah in some cars it's it's a little tougher so we have access here so we'll be all right here pretty easy so yeah get out and fix some stuff uh, extraction of the exhaust manifold stud um the nut kept on falling off when i tried to attempt to remove it once the nut was on there so what i did was um turned up the heat on the welder and i welded a little bit hotter on the net like as I did earlier before and then I welded on the net on the broken stud and it helped it like uh, it helped uh, bind them together so just do that and it came right out so yeah 
if nut keeps on breaking off, uh, put more heat to the broken stud. Weld the new nut on there, and we're good to go.